Jaron Reed tweeting out less than a half an hour ago. It's been real, 12s, with the peace sign. Tomorrow at 1, it's official. On to the next chapter. And as Adam Schefter retweeted it and so eloquently put, Jaron Reed is expected to leave the Seahawks per source. Could be Reed as a source. They could try to trade him or release him. Ending still to be determined, Dave. <laughs> release Those him. Those are your options. Trade him. What else could they do? I, they could I, off him. <laughs> they could push him in front of a bus. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I think I, the I, bus would lose. I think Adam covered it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, this is yeah, very interesting. I mean, you you mentioned Bob that what would it? They somebody was speculating it would save eight million dollars. Well, yeah. Where is all this money coming from? These signings and and it'll be interesting to hear how people feel about about Jay Reed. I know when he got the eleven million dollar deal last year, it was eleven per year. A lot of people. Thought eh, maybe I mean he had he had, he had a, a down year after his big year right he had a big year and you know ten and a half sacks he was a second round draft choice yeah so and then last year six and a half sacks and then he had two sacks in the in the playoff game against the Rams so I mean that looked like money well spent the only thing is and we'll get into this later you go back through and look at the history and I, you brought this up a ton of times Bob that right near when they they go to camp. They'll sign D tackles, mm-hmm. and and I have to say, for somebody who played, I played behind three really good interior guys. Joe Nash was one of them. Of course, the great Cortez Kennedy, and then when I was in Denver, there's a guy named Greg Craigan that was mm-hmm. fantastic. I mean, not a lot of numbers out of those guys, except for Cortez. But you know, those guys are just very valuable. But you know, we've seen some of the names. I mean, remember Demarcus Dobbs, mm-hmm. uh, Kevin Williams, Tony McDaniel. Um, man, Brandon Mebane, who was a third rounder, and he was just one of the best Seahawks of all time. But Taba Rubin, Clinton Taba McDonald, Rubin. yeah, and it's Jason Jones. How many times did they sign those guys late? Yeah, and it's not like I don't value defensive tackles, especially being an inside linebacker. I know how important they are, but I just feel like it's not one of those positions where, if I was a GM, I would spend money. Yeah, well, obviously they started to feel the same way for whatever reason. 